Hello, a very, very big hello to all the cute, tiny tots of DRS International School. How are all of you doing today? I hope you're doing good. Well, I'm doing fantastic. And today, being a Tuesday, I just could not wait to catch up with all of you. Because guess what? It is almost the starting of the week for all of us. Because Tuesday is the very first day of the week that we catch up and get to meet each other. Isn't it? So once again, a very, very big welcome to a brand new meditation class. Your class to feel all calm and relaxed. Your class to train your minds to become happier and healthier. But before we start, it's time to get all comfy. And before we get all comfy, it's time for me to introduce a very special friend of mine. To all of you. Well, this is George the Gorilla and George is going to be doing the meditation class with all of us today. But I will talk a little more about George a little later in our video today. Until then, it's time for you as well as me as well as dear little George right here to become comfortable and get ready for our meditation class today. So wherever you are, just sit down with your legs crossed, sitting on our bottoms today. George is also sitting on his cute, fat little bottom today. And you can just close your eyes and keep your hands nicely placed on your knees, palms facing up, fingers slightly curled in, entire body completely relaxed, just like George's. And still keeping your eyes closed, let's take a deep inhale. And slowly, slowly breathe it out. There can be very many sounds occurring around you. Just like that sound of the vehicle passing by that you just heard. There was a vehicle passing by on the street just outside my house right now. You can have very many external sounds around you at this very moment. But it's okay. You don't have to get distracted. It is, after all, the very nature of your mind to run haywire, to run left, right and center. But any time that happens, children, all you have to do is calmly, soothingly and very lovingly, very gently, just bring your mind back to your breath. Just bring your mind back to your breath and attach it softly to your breath. So in today's mindfulness class, we are going to try to keep all our awareness focused on our breath. Isn't it Georgie? Yes. So now that we are comfortable, let's get our meditation class ready, okay? So that we are completely comfortable in our meditation room. What about some nature sounds? Would you like some jungle sounds? George the gorilla would definitely like some jungle sounds. I'm sure you would as well. So on my count of three, two, and one. Ready, George? Here we go and we've got a jungle all around us all of a sudden with the birds chirping in the trees, the leaves just rustling gently in this wind that is flowing by coolly, softly. Such nice natural jungle sounds all around us. The soil of this jungle is nice and moist and damp. Because you know what? It was raining heavily last night. So today the soil is all damp. And you can smell the dampness of this soil. Birds are chirping away merrily. And there is this cool, nice, gentle breeze. This breeze which is flowing through the leaves of the trees. George is simply in the zone now. Are you? We've got this nice jungle all around us in this meditation room. There's a jungle inside your meditation room. Isn't that wow? What about some smells? Let's pick one smell for today. We had vanilla last time 
let's have something different would you like a dog smell i don't think so would you like a dog smell uh uh even george does not like it so mr george would you like a bacon smell i don't think so george is not interested in a bacon smell because you know what that's going to make all of us hungry although i am a vegan some of you may be non vegetarian some of you may be vegetarian some of you may be eggitarian yes so although the smell of bacon won't make me hungry but i guess it's going to make georgey here hungry because although george and most of the gorillas are usually vegetarians but i'm not sure about this one because this one is very naughty and mischievous and some of you who might be non vegetarians might start to feel very hungry during the course of this meditation so let's skip the bacon smell for now what about a nice refreshing lily smell the beautiful refreshing smell of lily flowers yes would you like that georgie Yes, George will like the smell of lilies, and so would you, because George likes them too. On my count of three, two, one, and here we've got fresh lilies all around us in this jungle now. So far, we had just jungle trees. Now we have got fresh lily blooms all around us in this jungle. Ah, my dear students, you can smell them. I know that. So now our meditation class is all set. Our meditation room is all set and all of us are ready for today's meditation class. So now let me tell you why George is here with all of us today and why he has come to the class. I know that George is also ready for today's meditation class and he just hopes and wishes that today's class is really going to help all of you. But why is Mr. Georgey here today in the very first place when i got george into my house when he was very young he was a tiny little gorilla at that time george was always busy jumping around running about exploring new places exploring new things and just making me and my mom run about in the house chasing both of us george was basically very restless George could not sit in one place George would get irritated and angry very easily George would eat any time eat too much eat too quickly and then sometimes George would get sick and then i had to get down to the job of training George training George to use his attention right when george was young and was quite tiny i had to sit down with george and teach him how to train his attention so that he could learn new things it was important for george to be just able to observe watch listen come to me when i would call him sit down or lie down or just walk alongside me or do all kinds of funny and clever tricks You see it was important for me to teach all these things to George when he was really really small and tiny because you know what in life when we are all young when we are all young it's very easy for us to learn new things our minds are young and receptive and our minds are in a position in a situation to be able to grasp new things quickly and to be able to learn many many new things and the same applied to george so i taught him many things when he was a kid and above all most importantly i taught george how to use his attention i trained george to use his attention more and more so that he could learn easily more effectively and learn more and more so children what i am going to tell you today is that as kids when we are young when we are growing up if we are able to train our attention if we are able to train ourselves to use our attention effectively 
then we can learn so many new things in life and so easily. So if today, in today's meditation class, you can train yourself to use your attention. If through today's meditation class, you can teach yourself how to use your attention. If today, in today's meditation class, you can train, really train your own attention. Then you will realize that in life later on, you will be in a much, much better position to learn things more effectively and also more quickly. So my dear students, when we train our attention, we can learn so many different kinds of things. We can learn them fast and we can learn them effectively. You know, we can become better and brighter students at school and we can learn many different kinds of cool tricks which Georgie here has also learned. But it sounds too easy, but I'm sure that Georgie will also agree that attention can be there one second and gone the very next. Have you ever noticed that your attention can sometimes flutter around here and there like a busy butterfly? Especially when you start doing something new. You know, you get all sorts of crazy ideas and thoughts in your mind. That is known as the fluttering of your mind like a busy butterfly. Well, if you keep practicing yoga and you listen to all my weekly meditations, daily meditations, I'm sure it's going to really help you to train that attention by calming your mind reducing the flow of the thoughts, reducing the speed of your thoughts in your mind. When you do more yoga, when you practice pranayam, when you practice meditation with me daily, children, it's really, really going to help you a lot in calming down your mind, in cooling off your mind a lot. And your mind will calm down. Your mind will cool off by slowing down the thoughts in your mind because meditation will slow down that traffic. Meditation will slow down the speed of the thoughts in your mind just like the speed of the racing cars on a highway. That's what meditation is going to do. So if you can meditate along with me every day, and I can promise you that Georgie, the gorilla, is going to be joining us in all our meditations from now on. If you promise to join me on my daily meditation adventures from now on, I can also promise you one thing. And that promise is that I'm going to help you no matter what, no matter what comes our way. I'm going to help you to relax your body, calm your mind and become more focused on your work and your studies. And apart from yoga and meditation, there are some fun activities which you can do every day at your home. Activities which can help you to train your attention. Activities and games which can help you to learn how to use your attention. Activities which can make you learn how to train your attention so that you can learn more things and more effectively. For example, you can color. You can color a picture completely and finish when you have colored the whole picture. So you can get a black and white picture in front of you, a coloring sheet, Start coloring that black and white picture and keep coloring, keep coloring, keep coloring until that entire picture is complete. And don't stop anywhere in between. Stop coloring only when the whole picture is done. Or you can try to build a Lego model. You can try to complete a jigsaw puzzle maybe. Listen to music and do a thumbs up every time you listen to a new instrument in that song or that piece of music. Maybe you can try to learn a new song. Try to learn all the lyrics of that song and then try to remember them and sing the song yourself. 
or you can try to read a story book try to read the whole story book in one go read a picture book if the story book is too thick like a famous five or a nancy drew or a secret seven or a mallory tars then read an entire one chapter of the book and then try to remember what you read in that chapter apart from these things there are so many other ideas for example um you can also try to cook you know you can ask for a simple recipe from your parents or your grandparents and then go to the kitchen and try out a new recipe and then try to remember that recipe in your mind as well now for the really hard one you can sit down on your bottoms cross your legs keep your spine nice and erect relax your entire body neck nice and long close your eyes and take a deep inhale filling up your lungs entirely and slowly slowly breathe it all out let's do it once again sitting on your bottoms as you are keeping your spine erect body is relaxed sitting just like georgie over here with your eyes closed georgie is allowed to keep his eyes open but not you take a slow and a deep inhale the deepest that you have taken in your entire day so far and then slowly slowly exhale do this for at least 10 times children let's start breathing in inhale and breathe out remember it's okay to make that ah sound when you breathe out it's completely okay breathe in once again through the nose breathe out taking a deep breath in once again and breathe out one more deep breath in slowly and out one more deep breath and out take a deep breath in and breathe out one more deep breath in and out last three my dear students taking one more deep breath in filling up your tummy completely like georgie and breathe out last two one more deep breath in the breath going all the way down to your belly breathe out last time taking a deep 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 breath in the deepest that you have taken so far in this meditation filling up your lungs like two huge balloons completely inflating your lungs your belly is all blown up it's rising up breath reaching all the way down to the center of your belly and slowly slowly breathe it all out through your mouth how nice it feels how relaxed your body and your mind has become keeping your eyes closed just keep listening to me students may i also tell you here that sometimes during this breathing exercise you will realize that your mind is again beginning to flutter left to right like a busy butterfly have you observed that happen to you in the past when you did this breathing exercise with me i'm sure most of you have observed it happening to you in the past also but don't worry just don't worry 
that's just the basic nature of the mind that's just the mind doing its own thing so any time the mind flutters about or goes haywire just slowly slowly bring your mind back to whatever you are doing in the present moment for example you were doing this breathing exercise with me in this present moment so any time the mind flutters about just grab hold of your hand just grab hold of your hand of the mind just like you have your hands your mind also has its hands so any time the mind goes haywire goes left or right or center center is fine center is right there where the mind is supposed to be but if the mind goes anywhere left or right just gently grab the hand of your mind and slowly slowly bring it back to your breathing exercise or if you were coloring bring your mind back to your coloring exercise if you were trying to learn the lyrics of a new song bring your mind back to that if you were listening to a new piece of music and you were listening for new instruments just slowly slowly bring your mind back to that if you were trying to solve a huge jigsaw puzzle bring your mind back to that so whatever you are doing in the present moment just try to bring your mind back to that current activity of yours and that is also one of the best ways for you to train your attention one of the best ways that you can use to teach yourself to learn how to use your attention effectively and just like i told you earlier as was in the case of my georgie my pet georgie the gorilla here it does take time and patience and practice so you need to practice over and over again again and again until you learn how to train your attention to be used more effectively so that you can learn more things more effectively and faster it takes practice so practice meditation every day practice yoga every day because yoga also helps you to train your body and your attention practice this simple breathing in and breathing out exercise with me every day practice all the other fun activities that i have told you about in this video today coloring sketching drawing listening to music trying to learn the lyrics of a new song etc etc do these mindfulness exercises every day they can be fun they can be quite challenging and you can be assured that you will not get bored of doing these exercises every day because they are fun sometimes i know that breathing in and breathing out can be quite hard so on days when you feel that you are really not in the mood for that breathing exercise you can just color or you can just listen to music but i would suggest that you should really try you should really try every day to do this simple breathing exercise with me apart from yoga and meditation my best advice to you most honest advice to you would be that you should every day try you should try every day to do this simple basic breathing exercise all of you all you boys and girls out there at your homes every day you should try just try every day to do this simple basic just try i repeat just try every day to do this simple basic breathing exercise if you can do this simple basic breathing exercise with me every day trust me it's going to do wonders it's going to do really crazy wonders in helping you to train your attention along with the simple basic breathing exercise of course you can try out all the other fun activities that i have told you about sketching coloring painting lego models puzzles music the list is endless reading a story book and the list just goes on so my dear students just keep practicing just keep practicing every day you've got the tools and the tips and the tricks with you now with so many tools at your disposal all you have to do is just keep practicing 
just keep practicing all these activities every day and within no time during this unlockdown phase of your lives within no time during this unlockdown phase of yours you will realize your parents and your teachers will also start to realize that slowly and slowly you are beginning to train your attention better and that is why you are able to now learn more and more things better more effectively and more quickly and you are also able to learn more and more which is going to help you become brighter students at drs so it's a win win situation now you may just relax stretch out your legs shake out your entire body my dear students keep up the practice keep up this practice every day with me through my guided meditation videos just keep up the practice sooner or later all of you are going to transform yourselves and your lives you are going to transform your lives so much you are going to transform yourself so much that within no time all of you are going to literally and completely transform into meditation masters all of you are going to be able to transform yourselves into you know all of you are going to be able to transform yourselves completely into meditation masters stay at home stay safe be good god bless you and i and georgie the gorilla both of us love you all